Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about Anitrons for Mac and Windows. So what Anitrons is basically is it's like the iDevice manager. You can sync songs between two devices, to, you can take a backup of your iDevice, you can clone two or more devices and everything which Apple's iTunes does, this software does it better. And before we start on, if you want to uh, download this, I'm providing the links for this software in the description below. So let's get started up. And uh, before I actually uh, give a, a, a handout on how to work things, I'm going to be connecting my device. And as you can see, my iPad is connected right now. And these are the options which are available for you that first you could actually merge the device like you can copy uh, two or more devices and then you can put your content to the Mac from web like it works as a downloader as well. And then you can add content to your iOS device. You could use it as a flash drive or you can put contents to iTunes and you can put contents to your device like you can download from YouTube and directly put it into the videos app. And then finally, you can clone your device. This is where you actually see the name of the device, which makes sure that you select the, the correct device. So now let me uh, first go and uh, delete the existing backups and show you how to take a backup here. And the backup speed here is much faster than you do on the iTunes. So let me delete these backups uh, one by one because you cannot multiple select and delete the backups here. So it's done almost. Yes, it is done. So now I'm going to be clicking the backup button and the backup should automatically start. It says analyzing data and I think it's going to take some time. So let me take this backup. After that, I'll be back. So guys, I'm back after the backup and I'm going to be honest with you. It just took me less than a minute to actually back up my iPad and this is really fast and I didn't expect this to end this quickly. I guess I should have left the video on. So now as you can see the content is being explored. Now you can see it contains backup from all these uh, applications on my iPad and I don't think uh, yeah this was the note that was available in my iPad and all the contacts and voicemail call history everything you could get here. No photos no videos. So this is all you have and now when I refresh it here yeah, so this is the the backup and the size of the backup is 33 megabytes. So now what we can do with this backup is like you can restore your device from this backup. So uh, what you could do is uh, just so before you do that, you need to log into your iCloud. So I'm going to be hiding my iCloud ID. So I'm sorry for that. And you can also log in and get your uh, iCloud backup from uh, over there that should not take much of time so as you can see I have given my credentials and it should be on yeah as you could see there are four options here you could sync your, with your iCloud you could use your iCloud drive and you could import content from the iCloud or you could export from your uh, iCloud these are the four options available in import it asks you which are the files you want to import like you can select any of them say uh, this thing a jpeg image and when i do that it's gonna just sync it next it's transferring and for this to work you actually need an internet connection to work transfer completed so now you have that image on your icloud so whenever you go to photos in icloud library this image will be there similarly if you go to icloud drive you will see all your icloud drive uh, uh, files which which you have already stored or if, if you haven't stored it will return nothing so as you can see these are the files in my iCloud Drive so this is how you take backup and how you uh, actually send stuff to your iCloud Drive then next comes to the iTunes library so yeah so let me go back here it's taking the iTunes library so guys before we start I would like to show you that the device is completely empty there is no uh, iTunes music or there are no videos as well. So this is like a new iPad just I downloaded this application and nothing else really on the iPad. So let's go and check the iCloud storage stuff. Cancel. 
general and then you have your settings in iCloud here yeah storage in iCloud so let's manage storage and let's see what so as you can see I'm zooming in uh, there are nothing uh, much of uh, files here just uh, podcast and all those default uh, things and your Woot apps takes 56 megabytes nothing else is there so now I'm gonna be trying to uh, merge both the devices like I'm gonna merge my iPhone to this iPad and let's see what happens after that so as you can see that I have shown you that the, the phone or sorry the iPad did not have any files music files so now I'm gonna be syncing all my playlist stuff from this to the iPad so let me transfer the device okay so I need to select all those things here so this is my uh, playlist and then I'm gonna transfer this to my iPad so let it go it's preparing the sync it should be finished any minute and you just make sure that your uh, the, your device is not logged in if it, there is a passcode you need to unlock your device before the transfer actually getting completed so guys after I actually transfer the music let me check whether the music is here and it's taking some time as you can see I have all my music from my playlist right available here so this actually works it's it works similar in the way like you sync your music from your iTunes so it's really impressive and I do have to agree that the time taken to transfer was a bit more as compared to the iTunes but still it gets the job done so guys the next thing which I'm going to show you is how do you add video files to your iDevice with the help of any trans it's really easy what you have to do is click this tab right over here and so these are the uh, sites which basically it supports you can take videos from youtube daily motion wine vimo meta cafe break bbc and instagram so if you have any of these links you can copy and paste it so what it will basically do is it will download it and put it directly onto your videos uh, app right over there in your ipad or iphone so with the newer iOS, I don't think the videos app actually exists in many of the places. So I'm not sure where the video will go if you are ha if you're not having the videos app. So, so if you don't have a videos app, then I don't know what will happen. But if you're having one, then I, I think you can actually transfer that. So let me go to my channel and download some. should be there somewhere in the bottom oh it's not listed at all I guess I gave a space yeah here you go 474 subscribers that's great thank you guys for the subscriptions so let me uh, take this video iPad Pro leaks and rumors and copy video URL and the views are also impressive thank you guys for that as well without you guys I don't know where I will be so let's paste this and then I'm going to click download it's analyzing the file and uh, it should download it as you can see this is the progress it's 1280 by 720 basically you cannot download full HD videos that's a drawback but still 720p is reasonable because your all your uh, iPad or iPhone comes with a 720p display so it should not matter much and okay why is it opening right now I don't know so I think this should be sent to device so I actually forgot to tell you something else you need to click this over here to actually transfer the file right over to the iPad or whatever device you are connected to so that's it now uh, let it basically sync to the iPad and then we'll check whether the file was transferred I guess it is done so soon so let's go to the iPad and check out whether the file got copied so guys as you can see I have actually copied it and now I'm gonna be trying to uh, mirror the display of my iPhone and check if the video works right in front of you so I think it should be there any moment right now and yes now you can see the screen of my iPhone 
so I'm gonna go to the videos application and as you can see the file has been copied which I basically downloaded from YouTube so let's play it flipping it to landscape mode and yes guys as you can see the video is playing I don't know why in between the video is getting stuck up maybe it's just because I'm mirroring the video to my Mac let's now scroll ahead yeah that's great it completely works so not a fault with that that's really good so that's it for the file transferring thing and now the next thing which i'm going to show you is how to actually uh, clone two devices so guys now i'm gonna be showing you how to clone your device like i'm gonna try to clone my iphone right away to the ipad which means all the stuff from my iphone will be there on the ipad so before i begin i must tell you you need to uh, turn off find my ipad or iphone and the target device in which you are basically trying to clone stuff into so now i'm going to click on clone device and uh, i get oh the target device is not this one maybe i'll plug out and plug in because that's not what i wanted to do so the primary device should be my iphone and then the one to which it is transferring is ipad so let me close this and now clone device come on okay two devices are connected but i don't know why it is taking some time so now i guess the ipad is loading over here so anytime so i don't know why it's taking so much of time yeah now like you could see the target device is my ipad and find my ipad is turned off syncing your device please wait okay so it's basically syncing the device so guys now it is on the next page i'm going to click next and okay it's cloning the data to uh the ipad and it's first taking the backup of my device and once it's done it should basically clone the device so once the cloning process is complete i'll just be back so till then stay tuned so guys the cloning of the device is complete and now let me show you how it looks like as you can see all the messages right here messages are there it was empty in the beginning and music still is should be there why is it opening apple music let me close it and reopen that again so music should be there yeah oh why is it going to apple music i don't know but uh, this is how you basically clone your device and it did it successfully and now I have all the songs uh, which were there in my iPhone and this is how you basically do that. So guys that's it guys for this video and before I actually uh, sign off in this video I'm going to be showing you what does any trans cost. So it is there for free as well and if you want to buy that it can be done. But if you buy now, you will get lifetime free updates that is guaranteed. Free is available for both Windows and Mac. And let's look at the pricing over here. So pricing includes uh, your family edition, which supports five PCs. And you need to pay $59.99. And if you want a single computer license, then you got to pay $39.99. And if you want to have a business uh, license, which is like uh, for more devices it gives you from 99 and based on the computers you can uh, you know pay and if you want unlimited computers it gives you for 499 so that is the uh, pricing for any trans so that's it guys for this video i'll see you up on the next video until next time it's peace out